Hey guys, it's Maddie. In case you have not heard of me before, which 99.9% .9 of you probably have not, which is okay, because we're here now, we've met, everything's fine, we're talking, like, it's great. So, this is my- I clap a lot, that's a thing for me, okay. So today I'm going to be talking about freshman advice and stuff, and since I was a freshman last year, I thought I should make this video, like, now and not wait, because then, since I'm, like, freshly out of ninth grade, I know more about- the first thing that I want to talk about was differences from middle school and high school and the differences that I've noticed a lot. So the thing that I've noticed a lot is that like in middle school, like popularity is a really big thing. It's like, okay, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to throw this party, like popularity is really big in middle school and stuff, but in high school it's not as much, you know? Now of course there's still a popular crowd, but really like nobody really cares and like I'm not even sure if all the people in that crowd think of themselves as popular and stuff. I know some of them do and stuff, so, like, it's just not that big because, like, part of it is, like, there's a bigger school and stuff and, like, academics and all that kind of thing, so, like, popularity doesn't really matter that much, and I'll, I might do another video on, like, popularity and stuff like that and future if you want me to, like, comment down below. Now, in regards to homework, in middle school, homework was really, like, not that bad for me, personally, in my middle school, like, it was like, okay, like, you have, like, homework once a week in some classes, some classes don't even give you any homework, and it's really easy, while in high school, homework usually comes to me, in my high school, more of a burst, you know, it's like, okay, this day, no homework at all, and the next day you have, like, three papers from three different classes and stuff. So it's like, at one point you'll have no homework, and the next you'll just be like dumped, homework dumped on you, and you have to do the next day. So it's really different there, and I really don't like the kind of like homework comes in bursts type thing. I'm more like, a, okay, like steady fast through the week, not have to do a bunch like in one night and stuff. Which, I mean, you can like help that by like asking them what you may be doing, their teacher, like what you may be doing next, and then to like read up on that before you do that if you want to, or like doing your homework in class and like so that you can get finished and stuff and then when you get home you have less homework to do that can help depending on how much time you have now regarding academics i learned that you can't really care much about what other people are doing and like other people that are better or worse than you you can't think about that you have to just focus on yourself and building yourself and to being a better person like okay say you got like all these and stuff and then you're like really jealous and really mad at the person who's getting all A's and that's at the top of your class you're never gonna get anything done you're gonna be restricting yourself to that one all D's area and to help that you just can't worry about them you just have to work on yourself and build it up to get like a C or B range and you can't really like worry about what other people are doing because they're not you and like they probably have their own struggles and just because they all have all A's doesn't mean their life is perfect Similarly, if you have all F's, that doesn't mean that your life is horrible, and it's just like there's a lot of different factors going into that, and like you can't just look at one person and be like, okay, you are the have the perfect life, you have perfect grades, I wish I could be you, but I can never be you, because that puts the thing in your mind that's like, no, I'm never going to be that way, and if you think that you're never going to be that way, you're not going to be that way because you're not like putting yourself up out there and working hard enough to be that way. So... Now I know my middle school, we weren't allowed to like have backpacks in class and stuff like, like but in high school, you're going to need a backpack because you're going to have a lot of books and stuff, well, not a lot, but like just a lot of heavy things. So you're going to need your backpack and for like the first like, I want to say two months of school, like I did not bring my backpack, I didn't want to because like, I was like, well middle school I did it this way so I couldn't do the same in high school, right? But it, it didn't work and stuff and so like, this one girl that was in my art class, the whole entire time, she was like, you should use your backpack, like, that'd be so much better. And I'm just like, no, I don't want to. And, like, I, I should have right off the bat, like, dude. And another thing is, like, if you're moving into a new building that's, like, big and stuff, please. Take a tour. Have a map. Memorize the map. Because I thought I was doing okay, and I thought, hey, I can, like, get around the school, like, easily. Like, what do you mean? But... On the second day of school, I almost missed the bus because I forgot there was a hallway there, so. True story. It's really embarrassing, but that's what happened. So, like, make sure you know where you're going. Like, over the top. Like, even if it's excessive, just like, okay, I gotta do this. Like, it will help you in the long run. 
Also, in freshman year, I learned that not everybody's going to like you, and you're not going to like any everybody. And both of those things are okay, but, like, you still have to be respectful to them, depending on, like, what they did. You know, if you just dislike them because of some, like, petty fight, then not, like, something really serious, like, they, like, I don't know, murder someone. But, like, if something like that happened, you know, like, if you just dislike them or they just dislike you, it's probably not personal. They're probably in a bad mood. Maybe they don't know you. Maybe you don't know them. And, like, so if you dislike them, like, it's okay. And if they dislike you, don't worry about it because there are plenty of people new. And if you feel like nobody just likes you, like, talk to somebody. Begin to be their friend. Like, you can't just think that somebody dislikes you without, like, knowing for sure if they've said that they dislike you or implied it. And another thing I've learned about middle school from to high school is there are a lot of relationships going on. Sorry, there's people out there, so if I, like, look, there's windows. Yeah. So, some high school people are usually getting into their first types of serious relationships and, like, that kind of thing. And the thing that I noticed a lot about relationships in high school is that people put all of their time, all of their money, all of their things into that other person. And a lot of times they can, like, diss their friends and then like stay away from them because they just want to hang out with their other significant other and stuff and while well, that's not a bad thing necessarily to like hang out with the person that you like to hang out with and are dating a lot but the issue I have with this is that they're not going to be around forever I mean that's brutally honest but it's true because in high school relationships do not usually work out and they're very short lived not to say that like some of them couldn't be going from like high school to college to marriage but most of them don't work out so if you just completely like cut off all your friends and don't talk to them and then focus on that one person you guys break up your friends might not want to talk to you anymore because they're like because you haven't talked to them for a long time and you've like been so focused on your boyfriend or girlfriend that your friends are kind of falling by the wayside and once you guys break up and like it's really bad on you, your friends, you aren't going to be the same. Like you can try to be the same again but you just really honestly most of the time aren't going to be. And it's just a lot of times in high school people like think too much about relationships like yes it's good to have somebody that you really like and stuff and to be with them and like make that known but you can't like revolve the rest of your life around them, you can't revolve your world around them. That's not a good thing because there's more to your world than them. You know, like there was more to your world before then than there was then. But in a healthy relationship, you guys don't have to be by each other at all times, like 24-7. And neither of you should be trying to like pressure the other one to do something. And like, you shouldn't have like a push and pull type of thing. Like, okay, I want to do this, well I want to do this. And like, you're always fighting at each other because that's not healthy. Obviously, because I already said that. So just like be wary, like a lot of relationships when you're in high school are not going to be healthy because we're still trying to figure out how to like deal with them and like what we're supposed to do and we don't really know that much so like we're not going to be have them right the first time. And another thing, even if you don't get in a relationship in high school, that's okay because a lot of people get in relationships in college and stuff and like me. I know I didn't have a relationship last year, like, a real one, I guess, but, like, it doesn't matter because you should, like, you can focus on your friends and your academics and, like, you're not really missing out on much because once, because it'll happen when it's meant to happen, I guess, that seems cheesy, but, like, it's true, and so now I'm going to talk about upperclassmen, and the thing about them, okay, so my first day of school, I'm in my Spanish class, right? I'm sitting there, and there's this one kid, and he adamantly hates freshmen. He's over there, just like, oh my god, freshmen, freshmen, oh my god, freshmen. Freaking hate freshmen, like, you're freaking freshmen, let me murder you, like. And what I find kind of stupid about that is he, he was a sophomore, which means literally the year before that, he was also a freshman. So the thing is, like, when you're a freshman, you're going to get a lot of flack for it, especially the first day of school, like. People have this undeniably, like, hatred towards freshmen, and I think part of it, like, like, teasing them and all that kind of thing is because, like, oh, hey, you don't know a lot about, like, high school, like, you're still young. Maybe, like, some people unconsciously think, like, well, yeah, they had a lot of stuff happening to them in high school, and, like, 
I'm gonna tease them. I'm gonna like do this because it happened to me and that kind of thing. But anyway, so when you're a freshman, like people do not like you. It's just a thing. But you can still find friends that are like sophomores, juniors, even seniors. Like the girl I was talking about, she was a senior and like we talked and it was all cool. But like not everybody's gonna like have this dying hatred of freshmen all throughout the year and stuff. So don't worry about that. I mean, so yeah. And now I wouldn't really suggest staging a senior as a freshman just because like you don't know their intentions and stuff. I mean, because they could like be like using you or something because like you don't know a lot or they think so at least. So I just want to suggest that because like they're way, they're a lot older than you and like they're going to graduate and stuff and if you're still in a relationship once they graduate like you're going to be a sophomore and they're going to be already starting college and so like long distance doesn't really work. I mean yes you guys could try seeing each other. But, like, and it, it could probably work if you guys were older and, like, not in the sense as, like, you were the same age as him or her. Or, so, like, okay, you're in college, I'm also in college. Or, like, you graduated college and I'm in college. Because then you have your own, you can drive, you guys have your own houses, and it just kind of works better then. And you're both more mature then. So then the age difference is less. So, I mean, I guess sometimes it could work, but most of the time I don't think so. I don't think it's a good idea. But yeah, so with older people, just don't annoy them. Uh, what I mean is, like, just because you annoy them, just, like, have it roll off your back. It's just, like, a school thing that's naturally, like, happens. So, like, I don't really know what I'm saying here. But anyway, when I say don't annoy them, I mean, don't think that, like, having older friends makes you cool. And then, like, you can, like, talk to them all the time, even when they're, like, not in the mood and stuff. And, like... Don't think you're better than anyone else because like we're all people, we're all in the same school and just because they're older doesn't really mean anything. And while I'm a freshman, I noticed that a lot of like self-perception issues can happen. Like that we can take what we think how people see us, see ourselves that way, and then like we can feel bad about ourselves because of it. Like say we got a really bad grade on a test like once and somebody sees it and it's like and you look at them and you think, oh my gosh, they think I'm so dumb, they think I'm so stupid. And then you look at, back at them and you're like, hey, I'm probably right, like, maybe I am stupid. And then, like, you're like, live the rest of your, like, school year thinking that you are so stupid and that everybody thinks you're stupid because of that. When really, like, they're not thinking that, they're probably looking at your paper and thinking, oh my gosh, they got a bit better grade than me. Or, oh my gosh, like, that wasn't their best grade ever, but, like, hope they did better next time. And that kind of thing. So I just want to be, like aware of your emotions and other people's emotions and how other people think about you they probably don't think that about you but half the people honestly probably don't care about you and I'm not saying that to be mean I'm saying that as like they have their own issues they're really wrapped in themselves because as teenagers we do that a lot and it's just the thing and we can't really like help that and another thing I learned just because you're in high school and everybody else in high school does not mean that they are mature now, I know when I was little, I thought high schoolers were so much younger, so like, oh my gosh, I have a boyfriend, I can drive, like, everything. I thought they were like mini adults, but the reality is a lot of people in high school are not as mature as I thought they would be, myself included, because we're still growing up, we're still learning, and like, people make immature jokes, people don't understand everything, people are trying to find themselves out. So, for me, thinking that everybody else was really mature, like, no, a lot of them aren't, so like... Now, we're like under- it's really weird because like we're understanding certain things and then like we do things that like we don't really know about a lot and it's just like really confusing and which leads me to the next thing I'm talking about is peer pressure and drugs, alcohol, that kind of thing. Now, yes, people do those things. They take drugs, alcohol, they have sex. People do that in high school. But, and the reason why it's bad is because, I mean, obviously this should be like self-explanatory, but like messes with your mind and like too young for some of these things. And so oh, the thing that, for the advice that I can have help with that is that like people are not going to press pressure you to uh, take drugs or alcohol unless they're your really, really close friends and stuff and they're like not very good ones and they like make you do that. But, oh, but like 99% of the time, people are not going to pressure you to do drugs and stuff. Now you might feel like internal pressure and stuff as like you see the, a bunch of people like talking and like bragging about it and you might think oh my gosh maybe I should be like them like maybe that's cool I, maybe I should do that to fit in but like don't don't do that like 
I, I might make another separate video about like smoking weed and like how that is going but like as a high schooler personally I don't think like you should do weed or anything at least not until you're like mature enough to understand things and the consequences and you now with alcohol and stuff like it affects you like you're underage drinking so like again if you do these things there are consequences that you have to understand and yeah and if people's pressuring you to do anything you don't want to do like oh my gosh like you need to tell somebody you need to tell them leave you alone or not do that because you tell them you don't want to do it make it very clear or, or tell the principal their parents your parents tell somebody because like it needs to be on record somewhere in case they do it again and that kind of thing Organization, okay, now, this I'm talking about, like, you have to have your stuff organized, because there, you're gonna have a lot of papers and stuff, and if you, like, have computers, like, my school has Chromebooks and stuff, if you go on Chromebooks and stuff, like, organize your files and stuff, I have so many, like, different files for different classes that I have online stuff to do, and it's really helpful, and they're, like, color-coded too, because, you know, and take really, really good notes, like, that's the best thing of advice I have for you for academics, is, like, Pay attention, take really good notes, those two things, and you, you can succeed, okay? When I say take really, really good notes, I mean, like, write down everything that your, like, teacher's talking about, and then, like, look it over, and then write a separate thing in notes, because I read this on Pinterest once, and it's, like, after you do that, you can pick apart the main, like, parts of the notes, and then, like, summarize it, and then your handwriting to read to yourself at home, that can get to your brain faster, so then you can memorize it, because really, learning is kind of all, like, memorizing, you know? and like that kind of thing and also for exams you're gonna have exams like you're gonna have exams okay if you don't have exams before then because i know some people they have exams in middle school but like mine didn't so i guess when it's all like oh hey 200 question exam when i only had like none of these like oh my goodness that's terrible so you need to study i mean you should probably study like a month i'd say before like exams happening for me, I think that would work out, but, like, some people maybe just, like, a week, but, like, don't, like, have, like, don't do that, like, last minute, like, keep, start studying, just, like, little, you can just, like, read, like, one question each day to yourself, like, throughout the day, and then that can help you study for the exams. Like, turn your work in on time. You have to turn your work in on time, because I know a lot of teachers won't accept late work and stuff, and especially in college, I don't think they would like that, so, like, you have to, like, from like not turning things in light is to know when the thing is due write it down keep it in your brain tell yourself when it is due and then like try and get it done then i know it seems easy and like kind of simple and like it goes without saying but like a lot of times i don't do that and stuff and so i have to like frantically like start writing the thing like finishing my homework the day before class starts to turn it in because some people don't take light work and I don't want to be late because I'd rather get like one point than zero on it or an F on it. As for struggling with like a class or something, ask the teacher, stay behind school, have one-on-one -on -one contact because I, I tend to think that that helps you to learn things better because you don't have as much distractions and they can go more in depth on what they're teaching you. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. Get this one. And so, subscribe watch this video if you want to and I don't even know if you can see my hands but like we're gonna go with that so thank you for watching have a nice day and bye